Hi, my name is Sean Olson. In this video I'm going to show you a new function developed by Wallworm that helps you visualize your scenes in more customizable ways. So we're going to show you a default, a default function in Max and that is every time you create an object it gets a new random color. And this can be quite useful in many scenarios because it helps you distinguish one object from the next. You see the first one was this yellowish color, the next this pink color, blue and gray, and it keeps on going random. This function can be modified with native max functions by clicking the color icon over here in the right. And you can see here it gives you the option for the 3ds max palette or an AutoCAD palette. And you can have custom color yourself. And here's the function that sets what color it's going to be by random. So the current color is purple, but it's going to be and stay that way if I get rid of the random. So from now on out, every one I make is this exact same color. But there have been users that have asked for extra options. So there's some functions that I've built to help you give some variety to how this works. To have access to these new ones, you can either download it separately at script spot or you can install the latest version of Wallworm and in this case I'm going to show you how to launch the settings here in Wallworm it's under the global settings Wallworm settings if we go to the miscellaneous tab there's a button here that says expanded object color settings this is gonna bring up this little floater here so right now I'm telling it to use whatever Max has set but there are some overrides I'm going to show you what these options do, and uh, we're going to use them here. So we're going to change to the act, use active layer color. So I'm going to change it to that, and now when I hit box, they're all going to be blue, similar to what we had before, but this time it's controlled by whatever the layer color is. So if I open up my layer manager, The default layer here if I right click it and go to properties you see it has a blue color so I'm gonna make a new layer I'm gonna call this I'm gonna call this new one and then I'm gonna make another layer and call this new two so new one I'm gonna right click and go to properties and change its color to this reddish color and new 2, I'm going to change its properties so its color is green. So now since the current layer is the new 2, any new object that I select will be its color. And if I go to change the active layer to new 1, new objects are going to be that layer's color. So this is a way for you to know by creation if you're creating in the correct layer or not. However, there's still some need for some users to have the different objects to be distinguishable. So there's this option here for use value stepping. If I turn this on, it's going to use that hue but change the color by stepping up 16 units in the brightness value. It'll go up until it gets all the way to the brightest and then cycle back down. So you can see each one is getting brighter and brighter as we create these. Eventually it'll get back down to the darker colors. And go back up again. And now if I go back to set the current active layer to new two, it's going to do the same thing but with the color of that layer. So that's how use active color active layer color works. Now I'm going to set to active layer color with random brightness. So in this case it's going to be green but it's just going to be a random brightness for that one. In this option, the use value stepping does not work. It's just random. Let's go to color one with random brightness. In this case, it's going to use color one right here. 
And now when we do this, whatever that first color is, it's going to be randomly bright. If we turn on the value, use value stepping, it will use that color and cycle up through the steps instead of using a random brightness. So that's color one with random brightness. And now this final option that we have is random colors between color one and color two. When using this option, it will take a random color with a random brightness between these two colors. And if I make them more drastic, you'll see how it goes between those two sets of colors. So these are just some extra options for the default colors of your objects in Max. And if you want to go back to the standard Max controls, it'll go back to whatever our current standard settings are, which right now is a solid color green. And again, if we go back in here and turn on Assign Random, we'll get back to the completely random colors. Again, my name is Sean Olson. You can learn more about me at my website, seanolson.net, and you can always get the latest versions of Wallworm and all the Wallworm tools at wallworm.com. Thank you, and have a good day.